Hello and welcome to my channel. Rumors that Don Trump Jr.'s fiance, Kimberly Guilfoyle, is disliked by Eric Trump's family, have been refuted by Eric Trump. The eldest son of the former U.S. President Donald Trump has been dating the former Fox News personality since 2018, and on New Year's Eve 2020, the couple got engaged. Guilfoyle is reportedly not a favorite of the Trump family, according to a source who told Page Six. There is a sense that Kim is unpopular with the family. She is making too much of an effort to fit in. Eric defended his future sister-in-law, saying, I strongly disagree with the storyline and happen to think the world of Kimberly. An informant informed Page Six that Don Jr. and Guilfoyle hosted a celebration for Toys for Tots this week at their $9.7 million Florida mansion, where Kid Rock provided the music dot in which members of the Trump family attended the celebration, which had about 300 guests. Eric told the publication that he and his wife Laura attended the event, Don and I are the greatest of friends, and we had a blast during the party. Ivanka Trump and her husband Jared Kushner were invited but did not attend, a source told Page Six that this was because the party fell on Shabbos, or the Jewish Sabbath. The former president Donald Trump also showed up for 30 minutes. In addition, they emphasized that the couple's relationship with Guilfoyle and it's simply rumors going around. Ivanka Trump sparked some questions last month at Tiffany Trump's wedding, when she uploaded a family photo that cropped Guilfoyle out of the frame. Although everyone was dressed in light pastel colors, with the exception of Guilfoyle, who was wearing a black dress, many thought this was more for fashion than a personal jab. Additionally, former addition, president Mary Trump, Donald Trump's niece, wants to reopen her case against the former president for allegedly defrauding her of the family fortune, according to Bloomberg. When she signed a family settlement agreement in 2001 to cash out her inheritance, the judge found that she had unambiguously waived her right to sue, and the case was dismissed last month. Mary Trump, though, alleged that she was coerced into signing the agreement in her motion on Monday. According to Roberta Kaplan, Mary Trump's attorney, a release from claims can only be accepted under New York law if it was fairly and knowingly made. She said that the Trump family settlement was obtained through duress, including threats to overwhelm Mary Trump with tax payments she couldn't afford and to stop providing health care for her nephew, according to Bloomberg's article. Aside from threatening to bankrupt her, the former president and his siblings Mary Ann Trump Barry and the late Robert Trump placed young Mary in profoundly unfair circumstances by terminating the health insurance that was literally keeping her newborn nephew alive in an intensive care unit, Kaplan claimed in the brief. Mary Trump has a 2020 tell-all book titled, Too Much and Never Enough. How My Family Created the World's Most Dangerous Man, which Bloomberg notes has been a frequent critic of her uncle. She also acknowledged sharing data with the New York Times for a 2018 financial study on Donald Trump. Thanks for watching.